This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when launching ZBrush, the document is very small. How can I change this? So to start off, I just have a fresh install of ZBrush here. And if you have just installed ZBrush and launched it for the first time, this is what you will be greeted with. So at the top here, we have Lightbox, which is automatically opening up. So I'm just going to hide that. And after we close that, you're going to see that we end up with a document that looks like this and our interface like so. Now, the document here is not extending out to the borders of the UI. So the question is asking, how can I make it so when I start ZBrush the next time that this is extending out to the borders here and I'm not left with this blank space? So to change your document size, you just need to come over here to the document palette and open this up. Down at the bottom here, you have a width and height slider. And in here, you can change this to increase the size of your document. So one thing that I end up doing after a new install of ZBrush is I'll come down here and just click this double button here. This is gonna take your width and your height and it's just gonna double that. So if I click this, you're gonna get a little resize document and click yes to that. And now after you click that, you will see that your document here is now going to the extents of your UI. Now, in addition to just changing the size of your document, you have some other options up here as well. So I like decreasing the gradient range too. So I'll come over here and just decrease this to zero. And this is gonna remove that background gradient. You have some other options like changing the color, changing the borders, and also changing the rates in which that gradient will be applied if this is not set to zero. Now your document will stay like this if you save out a ZPR file or until the next time you start ZBrush. So let's say you don't want to save a ZPR file and you want to save a tool file from this menu here, but you want to make sure the next time you start ZBrush that it loads up like this. Well, if you come over to the document panel again, in here there is a save as startup document. By clicking this button, it's going to look at what you have your document set to and it's going to store that. So the next time you launch ZBrush, it's going to remember. So I'm just going to come over here and click save as startup document. And this is going to tell you that it has been stored. So just click that. And now let's restart ZBrush. So I'm going to come over here and hit close. So after ZBrush restarts, you'll get something like this. So I can close the lightbox again. And you'll notice that the document here has been stored. So it's remembered that size that we entered in previously. And now it's going to always start ZBrush like this. So now I can go over to my tool menu, grab a tool, draw it out, go into edit mode and start sculpting like normal. Now, one thing to remember, if you are loading in ZPR files, each ZPR, or project file out of ZBrush, is going to store its own document settings. So if I come over here and click on Earthquake and just load him in, this is going to load the model of Earthquake here, and it's also going to load the document associated with this project. So just remember that if you load a project in, it does have the chance to update your document settings here that may differ from the ones that you stored. So I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.